because because I'm not a uh, kiss to anyone by the time I was so 16, it had adversely affected my self-esteem. No way, way. <laughs> <laughs> so, what my friend, uh, uh, my, my two best mates, Josh and Hugh, what they did, they did what all Welsh people do during a crisis. They decided to form a committee, and uh, my friend Hugh went, I know, I've got an idea. Why doesn't he get off with Kaylee? Uh, from the year below, because she's a right slag, and uh, uh, she'll get off with anyone. And Josh was like, good point, motion carried, and it was decided, right? <laughs> it's decided, I'm going to go off with Kayleigh from the year below. Incidentally, uh, Kayleigh's not her real name, because I'm within 100 miles of Carmarthen, I've changed it to Kayleigh, that's the rule. <laughs> and Josh came up with the bright idea of organising a whip round so that they could pay her. <laughs> The door opened and a sort of slaggy, wet permed vision of beauty came, sort of came in. Yeah, she walked up to me and she went, All right, are you well? It's James. And I went, Yes, I am. Thank you for making a lonely teenage boy feel slightly less anonymous. Another reason why I wasn't banging many babes, because I spoke like a substandard shit Welsh Morrissey, right? <laughs> this is Lammer Street, right in the middle of town. Uh, that green electricity substation is the uh, site of my first kiss. I was tucked around the corner. The only time I've had my uh, fingers burnt with mentioning real people is that the girl I kissed in my, in my first snog, I changed her name throughout Edinburgh and then I did a gig in uh, Cardiff and I said a proper name by mistake because I'd forgotten and they were friends of hers in the audience and they texted her and then she sent me a thing on Twitter saying, what are you saying about me? Smiley face kiss. Uh, and I had, to, um, I had to send her an email and say, Oh yeah, you don't come out of it badly, you look great. Um, but it was very, very embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as doing a piece to camera in your hometown when people you were at school with drive past in builders' vans. Um, but, you know, I'm in the media now. I need to, I need to, I need to accept this. How much did you pay her? They went, oh, it was um, £4.60. And I asked how much, why it was that uh, particular sum, and I'll tell you. Basically, she'd promised her stepdad she'd be home by half nine, and £4.60 was the exact price of a taxi from Lama Street, where Chris Newth Club was, back to Russell Terrace, where her parents lived. And when I absorbed this information afresh, I fell in love with her once more, because I realised that, yes, while she had snogged me for money, she had done it for expenses. <laughs> <laughs> It is honest snoggers like Kayleigh, they should be in government. I thought Britain would be a much better place. <laughs>